Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing For You. Today, I'm with Matthias. What's up guys? Make sure you guys check out his channel. Um, I'll leave it in the description, so go check it out. But today we're doing something really different instead of a fishing video. Well, we're going into Walmart right now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna be trying to find something to make a fish tank out of. We're gonna be trying to make a tiny tank. I already have an idea of what I'm gonna do. So yeah, let's just go in there and see if I can find the supplies. Alright guys, so we couldn't find what we were looking for at Walmart. We just drove to Office Depot over there. And then if they don't have it, there's a Dollar Tree right around here. So yeah, hopefully we can find what we're looking for. Let's go. Okay, so I think I found what we're gonna use to make the tank. This is just a little pencil sharpener. It's perfect. And yeah, see you guys back at my house. All right guys, we made it back to my house. Got the sharpeners. We're only gonna use this clear one, but yeah, I'm gonna try to build a tiny mini fish tank out of this. And then we're gonna go to this lake behind my house and see if we can catch a little minnow to put in here. But yeah, that would be pretty cool. We're obviously not gonna keep him in here because this tank is too small, but we'll see if we can, we'll see how he likes it. All right guys, it's time to open this bad boy. Just like we said earlier, we're only gonna be using the white one, the clear one, because this one's too dark, so. Little clear one only. Look, the lid pops out. We could pop out that sharpener. Wait, no we can't. And then, <laughs> look. Perfect. All right, wait, let's see <laughs> if it actually broke. All right, guys, so we just ripped off the sharpener part. So now we just have a hole at the top of our little tank. And yeah, this is gonna work perfect. It's just gonna go like, <laughs> just get it, oh my gosh. All right, you, got, you guys get the point. It's gonna go like this. So now we have the little hole and technically that could be used as a little feeding hole. We just sprinkle some flakes there. It's perfect, even if you had like a little LED light, that'd be freaking sick. Let's go outside and catch a minnow. Alright guys, we got sand and gravel. We'll see which one looks better. Here's the little tank. Um, what do you think I should try first? Sand. Alright, we'll try sand first. I'm gonna just like dump it in here and yeah. Think that's good? That's about, yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, guys, hopefully you can hear me. It's really windy, but I got the perfect rock and the perfect little piece of grass. And yeah, we'll put this in the tank and see how it looks. We'll put this. Boom guys, so it's gonna look something like this. We'll fill this with water and see how it looks. Hopefully the sand won't murk the whole thing up. But yeah, let's just, let's get to it. All right guys, here's the tank. Got a glass of lake water. And yeah, we're just gonna slowly pour this in and hopefully it doesn't mess up the decoration too much. It should be fine. Ready? Boom. There we go. That looks pretty good. That actually looks really good, guys. 
Now all we have to do is to get a little minnow for our tank and we'll be set. Alright guys, hopefully you can hear me. It is really windy and really rainy. But the good news is that we finished decorating the tank. The bad news is it started pouring. And look at this. There's no way we're going to be able to find a little tiny minnow in this weather. But yeah, we're going to hopefully, hopefully this will clear up soon. And then we can go find a minnow and our tank will be complete. Alright guys, the rain slowed down, but it is really windy. Sorry about the audio. Now we have to catch a little bit. Alright guys, so it started pouring again, but um, it's kind of slowed down now. It's kind of on and off, so I switched to the GoPro. So if it starts raining again, I can keep recording, and hopefully now we can catch a little minnow or a little mosquito fish for the fish tank. Got one. Yo, I got a perfect one. Yeah, guys, I got a really nice, really healthy looking minnow. Let's go, let's go put him in the tank. All right, guys, got this perfect tiny little mosquito fish. We're gonna put him in the tank. All right, we're just gonna drop him in this little hole right here. There he goes. All right, guys, we got the minnow in the tank. He's just swimming around doing minnowy things, whatever minnows do. Being a minnow, he's really healthy, really pretty looking mosquito fish. This is actually this is actually not a minnow. It's called a mosquito fish. They're native. They're everywhere in Florida. But yeah, there he is. Looks really cool in the tank. All right, guys. So here's the tank. It looks really good. But obviously, we have to release this little minnow. He's not gonna live inside this tiny thing. This was just for fun. But yeah, tank looks really cool. Come on, little dude. All right, got him. Really cool looking fish. Let's give him a quick release. Oh, and there he goes. See you, bud. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for the video. It was a little bit of a different video. I know it wasn't fishing, but let me know what you guys think. It was a really cool idea, and it turned out really good. But yeah, it is insane. You can make fish tanks out of literally anything. That was just a tiny pencil sharpener, and we turned it into a really cool tank. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the next episode.